Hello traders, we're two hours into trading on Monday, August 16th. I've taken the last week off or so. Really didn't miss much. Market not doing a whole lot of anything. Let's go into that daily chart, take a look at it. You can see very tiny, tiny bodied little candles. Volume extremely light. But this is what we've been talking about for the last few weeks. Once the mega cap tech companies announced earnings, the air would be let out of the balloon and the market would have a difficult time advancing. Sono has been a stock that's on my radar today. You can see through the 100-day moving average, through horizontal resistance, everything looks good. Stock was able to maintain most of the gains, even with the market pulling back this morning. Let's take a look. I set an alert. I had a downward sloping trend line right here that it was able to poke through. But I'm not going to take this trade. You can see how the stock has been forming resistance at the high of the day. And it has been down, down, down with the market up, up, up. That is a sign of relative weakness. I think Sono is going to have a difficult time challenging that high of the day. But in case it does, I'm going to drop another alert line here, horizontal. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to drop another one right here. So that if the stock does take off, it could regain its relative strength. I'm going to know about it. I'll have an opportunity to get back in. I do like that chart. I'm going to go into my heavy buying search list here. We're going to take a look at a few stocks that are right up on the top. Lily, very nice. You can see the daily chart. Big rally here. That was earnings before the open. Stock was able to preserve all of these gains. And now it looks like it's ready to challenge the all-time high. Downward sloping trend line there. This is a bullish flag formation. There's your flagpole. I like Lily. There's Sono. Take a look at UPST. Also, UPST, very strong pattern. You can see horizontal resistance here, long-term, earnings after the close. What did the stock do? Boom! Rallies right up to the previous high. And then last week, you had follow-through Thursday and Friday. Today, the stock tested the open from that opening price on Friday and bounced right off of it, going to the M5 chart. Really like this one. I think UPST continues to move higher. Not quite sure if it's my pick of the day or not. It very well could be. Let's take a look at FDX, see what else we've got. FedEx rallied very nicely out of the gate. It has pulled back a little bit. And you can see how it's testing the 200-day moving average. It would need to close above that 200-day moving average for me to aggressively day trade it. If that happens, I think it looks good. SKIN, another really nice looking stock here. An alert line was set, downward sloping trend line, breach to the upside on the daily chart, horizontal resistance, long tails under body. Look at that strength yesterday, today. It preserved half of that long green candle for most of the day. Now it is continuing to grind higher, nice relative strength. I like SKIN. That also sets up very, very nicely. Let's talk a little bit about the overall market, what we should be doing right now. We've got a market that's really not going anywhere fast. I believe the, the Delta variant of the coronavirus is being discounted. Today, we're seeing a lot of weakness in travel and leisure stocks. We have states that are considering shutting down. Cities are shutting down. Industries are requiring vaccinations. So this is not a perfect backdrop. Right now, with valuations fairly stretched on the S&P 500, perfection is priced in. The Fed did come out and say that they are not going to reduce their asset purchases until the middle of 2022. That's extremely dovish. So the Fed sees that there are problems. Corporate balance sheets, 45% more cash on the balance sheets right now than there was a year ago. That tells me that corporations are also very conservative. China came out with retail sales and industrial production numbers this morning that were soft. You know from my comments that I've been warning that China is a red flag right now. And we've seen that their government is starting to regulate their high-tech industries with greater frequency. That's part of the problem for China's market selling off, but it's not the entire picture. Their economy is showing some signs of strain. We're not seeing the global economic rebound that everyone was anticipating. I don't believe that that is priced in either. 
when the market has been able to grind, grind, grind higher and we get these tiny bodied candles on very, very light volume, we usually get that big drop. This is a nice little example right in here and it looks exactly like what we're going through right now. There's your horizontal resistance. We poke through, try, 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 try. No, nope, nothing going, boom. Then we get that drop right there. That is the 50 day moving average. And I believe that that could be tested sometime this month, especially with that type of pattern right there. This is where you wanna be buying or selling out of the money bullish put spreads. If you are a longer term swing trader with a three or four week time horizon right now, if that's the type of trading that you like to do, you should be sidelined. There's nothing to trade out there right now. As I mentioned, market price or perfection, we're not seeing perfection. There is a good chance that once the market tries and tries and tries to break out to a new high, that we see a pullback to that 50-day moving average. That's when you can get a little bit more aggressive. If you're a day trader, every time that the market gets away from its opening price, you can expect that there's going to be a reversal back to that opening price, and that's what keeps these doji formations intact. So you have to be very, very nimble. You've got to find a couple of good stocks that you can really hanker down on. You can see we had a gap down open, some long red candles. We had our bearish cross right in here on the 1LP indicator. Told us to do nothing. There we get a bullish cross, start to see some tails under body. Downward sloping trend line, breach to the upside. This is where you can start nibbling on some of the longs that I've shown you, like Sono, Skin, UPST. All very nice stocks. Take one more look and see what's going on here. UPST, choppy, able to get back to the closing price from Friday. I like this stock. I think this is going to be my pick of the day. Let's go into that daily chart. You can see nice horizontal breakout stock wanting to continue higher, big volume, great relative strength, orange line above zero. UPST, I believe that it's going to continue to move higher today. I think it's also a decent play overnight. Lots of buying, lots of volume. Tell me that this stock wants to go higher. Right here, right now, we are two hours and 15 minutes into trading. I would be a little bit cautious. We've got this big run up right here in the 1OP and it's probably going to be flashing a bearish cross right in here. Still not able to get into the gap. Once we hit that bearish cross, I believe that we will establish a higher low double bottom. That might be an opportunity to go in and reload on some of these longs. You got to trim your size. You have to trim your trade count right now. Very low probability trading environment. Dog days of summer. No news on the horizon. This is a news vacuum. So I know it's difficult not to trade, but knowing when you should be trading and when you should be ramping up your size in your activity is critically important. Knowing when to pull back and trade smaller size, also very, very important. So don't burn your capital right now in this market. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.